Today I'd like to show you how to use Math Mountain cards to practice math facts with your child at home. So this is called a Math Mountain card or you might even have remembered using something called like a fact triangle when you were younger, when you were in school, or fact families. And basically it's the same concept, it's just looking at it in a different way. So what you have here in the language that the children are using in class is the number at the top is what is called your total or your sum. And then the two numbers at the bottom are your add-ons, or you might also hear the children refer to them as the partners. So what we do here is we cover up. One way you can do this is you can use a sticky, a piece of paper, or even just your thumb or a finger to cover up the sum or again the total and you can ask your child what is 5 plus 4 and then I think to myself 5 plus 4 is 9 I lift up and I see that yes I am correct we can also practice subtraction so in this way we can cover up one of the add-ins or as your children might um, use the language one of the partners and now we think to ourselves, I think, what is 9 minus 4? Hmm, 9 minus 4 equals, I'm thinking, 5. So then I'm going to lift up, and I am correct, it's 5. Another strategy that the children are using is they're using to count up as well to figure out what the missing add end is. So they also might look at it as, hmm, I'm going to think, 4 plus what number gives me 9? And then they might count up 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 using their fingers. They have 5 fingers, so they know that 4 plus 5 equals 9. Likewise, in this case, we might think to ourselves 9 minus 5 equals 4, and then we could check that it's 4. Or we can think 5 plus what number equals 9? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, counting up is 4, and then we can check. So again, just to sort of review the language with you that the children are using, is in our math mountain, or our fact triangle, we're referring to this number at the top as the total, it's also good to make them familiar with the language of the sum. And then the two numbers that are here, those are called the add-ins because those are the two numbers that they're adding together. But your children might also call them the partners, meaning that those two numbers are the partners that work together to give you this total. And so again, this is just one way that you can practice math facts at home. Often I like to tell children to practice your facts, maybe start with addition, and then put the um, fact triangles or the math mountain cards into two separate piles. One pile of facts that we knew right away, and then the other pile of ones that we took a little bit longer, we hesitated, or we got wrong. And then we know that those are the ones we need to practice more frequently. Once we've mastered or we are more fluent and we know our facts very quickly and we can say 5 plus 4 equals 9 without thinking or needing to count up, then we can switch to subtraction and try practicing that as well. Um, so there's a variety of ways that you can use these cards. Um, I hope you found this helpful.